Welcome to Nicene Mark State Park. This is one of the most beautiful, lovely state parks in all of California, if you ask me. I grew up in this forest and I've been coming here since I was, you know, probably five years old. Uh, mountain biking, hiking, running distance. I'm gonna show you a little bit today about what makes Nicene Mark so special and beautiful and why I love it. Here we have a redwood grove. So Nineteen Marks is a redwood forest and it was previously um, full of old growth trees, meaning they were hundreds of years old. In the 1800s, this forest became very popular for logging. So what you have in a forest like Nicene Marks, which used to be an old growth forest, but then was subjected to logging, is you have a lot of what are called fairy rings, which are when the new trees grow up around in a circle where the stumps of the old growth trees were. The next thing we're gonna talk about is one of the most famous citizens of the Redwood Forest and the mascot of this beautiful city that we're in, Santa Cruz. It's called the banana slug. Banana slugs are very large and very bright because they taste terrible. So they're actually advertising to predators, I'm horrible, don't eat me. And that's what they do, that's their thing. You know, typically birds love slugs, but these taste terrible and so that's why they can be so big and obvious. Oh, he's coming out to say hi. Look at that cute little face. So banana slugs are also very slimy. They have a lot of like mucus covering them. It's, you're gonna see this like good, good sticky slime. <laughs> and that protects them. And it also helps them climb. This plant here is one of the most iconic redwood forest plants. It's like a ground cover. It's called redwood sorrel. And it's basically like a three-leafed clover. And in the spring, they have really beautiful purple flowers. You'll see this pretty much everywhere that redwood trees grow, redwood sorrel. This right here is a trillium. It has a kind of a naked stem coming up from the forest floor, three huge leaves, and that's sort of like how you'll always know that that's that, and then from that grows the flower. This one's already bloomed, but we'll also have three light purple petals. And so it's called a trillium because of all the threes. This five-finger fern is my favorite fern. Even if you have more than five fingers, it still kind of looks like a hand with fingers. That's an easy one to remember. They've got really thin, delicate black stems and just this nice fanning out array of um, fronds. So yeah, they like to grow near the river as well, also on the sides of hills. Kind of don't really see them under the redwood trees, but you do see them on this kind of habitat and um, by the water. So here we have a nice little cluster of some usual suspects in the redwood forest. We have sword ferns which are kind of obvious to identify because they grow long and straight from the root, like a sword. We have maidenhair ferns, which are beautiful, delicate, like to grow on cliffs and near the river, and the infamous poison oak. Poison oak has oils on the leaves that cause rashes in humans on our skin. Don't want to touch that. If you are in the forest and you think you're hiking through a green area with poison oak, you just want to make sure to take your clothes off when you get home, take a shower, and wash your clothes to get the oils off. So this amazing formation is another example of huge old growth trees becoming the foundation for a whole bunch of new trees. Let's go inside. There's a lot of like burned out, hollowed out stumps. I'm guessing it was lightning that kind of hollowed this whole thing out. You just have all this fire here. And then from the ashes came these new baby trees that are not really babies anymore. I've taken a lichen to this plant here. No, just kidding. This isn't even a plant, it's a lichen. And a lichen is, I believe, a symbiotic colony of fungus and bacteria. One thing about redwood forests is that they require a lot of moisture to grow. 
And what that brings is a lot of fungi. So it's a fun place to go if you're into that sort of thing. Which I am. You're a fun gal. I'm a fun gal and you're a fun guy. I'm a lot shorter than you too. Yeah, and I have very flexible legs. Yeah, I, uh, I don't, but... So put your right foot up. Yeah. Yep. Ah, oh, you're golden. No problems at all. If Dom were king of the forest. <laughs> <laughs> that one I'm proud of. Hey. Nice. Just, you know, take it in the view. I want to be as cool as Dom. Do it. <laughs>